Hey guys, this is The Engineer. On this training session, I want to show you how to first add an app to your site, to your Podio uh, workspace, but also to be able to modify and create your own apps for Podio. So first off, I'm in the marketing app that I was in before, and you can see here, up here at the top right, you can add app. Now, a lot of the people, uh, the Podio enthusiasts like myself, have shared their apps on this app market. So this is definitely a great resource. This is also a great place to start. Uh, if, you have, uh, if, if you're not really sure what you're doing, you can go ahead and just start here, go to the app market, and you can, you can take an app that's already in existence and start to modify it for yourself. So that's one option. I'm not going to do that because I, I've already made some pretty cool apps that fit specifically with what my needs are. But I am going to show you how to, uh, first off, I'll show you how to modify an app. So I'm going to go back to the Leads app that I was using before. And we're just going to go modify this. And you'll notice that on the left-hand side, you'll notice that there are building blocks. These are all the pieces that you need to make uh, your own Podio app. And Podio did a great job of making it just really simple. You'll notice that I can just drag and drop exactly what I want. It organizes it however, however I want. It's very easy to remove something by just clicking the Remove button. Um, I can add new things in from over here. Uh, so, it's, so you can see um, it's very, very, very simple. You can rename all the categories. Like, for instance, this is just a text box that is a single line of text and we're calling it the company or, or organization name. If you look down here, you can see explanatory text. So this is the message that pops up if you mouse over the field. It'll it just basically explain to you uh, what it is. So this is the name of the company. So that's what will pop up to the side if I, if I mouse over that particular field. So you can see here we've got uh, uh, lead contacts, and you can either make it workspace members or you can just make it uh, workspace contacts. Those are people that that, that you're that you're adding as contacts into your workspace. Workspace members are the people that are in your workspace, so there's a differentiation there. Um, the the reason why this is important is if if you wanted uh, like for instance this says lead contacts, but if I wanted to associate uh, a particular person with this lead. I could just click up here and make it uh, workspace members. So there you go. Um, right here, lead industry. If you noticed from before, um, when I was manipulating those data sets, uh, these are all the industries for the leads that I that I've been doing research on for Donnelly Architecture. Shout out Donnelly Architecture, by the way. Great people over there. If you guys have any needs, definitely, definitely go to Donnelly Architecture for your architectural needs. Um, very compat or the compatibility. So these are kind of just like a uh, you can select um, you can select uh, attributes basically. It's almost like a pull down menu, but and if you'll you'll also notice that you can do um, you can have the option of choosing just one of them or choosing multiple of them. If you go back up here to lead industry, uh, scroll down a little bit, you can see that I have the availability for these apps uh, for these data sets. To have multiples, so because sometimes one company could be a, a real estate developer and a project manager, or a, um, or a developer, I mean. So, office number. See, I have a, this is just a telephone number. It's very, it's a text box. But it's very easy. Um, uh, you can link a website in there, and Podio, kind of like in a way, kind of like Facebook. Um, will embed the, uh, the the small image clip along with the title of the website and the blurb or whatever that comes with the website. It will embed that, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Um, I have included a text box for the uh, address, the city, uh, the state, and these are also uh, added into each individual lead contact. But I have them separated, and I'll and I'll show you why in just a moment. Um, Here I've also added a calendar event, which is called First Contact, and that's basically the very first time we reach out to our contacts. We want to 
we want to track that through Podio. We want to know exactly when we sent our first letter and, uh, and that sort of thing. And then further, I also have uh, a link to another application. You can see that this is linking to the communications app, which we just started. We just added this, this feature in. That's why there's still this first contact drop down. Eventually, we're going to get rid of this first contact um, portion, and it'll just be managed by our communications link, or our communications app, which is linked to our, our leads app. But you can see how, uh, how this works. Now let me, so now that you see all these little components, I'm also going to show you, you can change the, the name of uh, the picture. So that's kind of cool, and the name of the, of the app. Scroll down a little bit more. There's some additional options. Um, interaction, for instance, you can enable whether or not people can comment on it, um, whether or not uh, people are able to contribute or edit these, uh, this application. Um, so this is kind of a, a, a little bit of an additional piece. Plus, you can do, this is something that we're going to be adding into the communications app. It's a task that can automatically be generated whenever one of these line items becomes created, whenever these data sets becomes created. So you can automatically generate a task with, uh, with every single lead that's being added. Very, very, very nice feature. Um, you can determine uh, how you want the app to be displayed by default. Um, since this is a bunch of a uh, bunch of contact names and whatnot, it's much easier for us to just display it by default as a table. You have the option of allowing files to be attached, and the other thing you can do is you can opt out of showing the changes that are made to the, to each of these contacts. You can opt out of showing that in your news feed. So you can see this is an additional bit of advanced settings, and then down here instructions. Uh, this is this is you know self-explanatory again. This is kind of instructions on what what people need to do with this app. So we're going to go down here. I'm uh, I'm not going to save just in case I accidentally change something. But now you can see that on these fields here, there's some fields that are required which you can preset or you can preset. Obviously, we want the name of the organization to be required. That's kind of important for us. That's the, the main driving uh, organizer for our data set. Um, I had the option of adding in contacts. And when you scroll down here, they, they did a great job with these contacts. Because if you look here, um, you can add in the name, you can, or name of the person. Um, you, can, you can organize, or you can, uh, you can change these fields. But... Um, you can just break it down very easily. Organization, phone number, email. Um, after you've input all this data, this the URL, addresses, everything, you can put it all uh, all right into here. And then afterwards, you can actually download. Let's say we're talking about this guy. You can actually download uh, the contact right into your your phone. Let me show you this actually. It's definitely worth showing. Say we have somebody here that we we uh, uh, a contact that we're trying to reach. So you can go to actions. You can download the V card right here onto your smartphone. All the stuff that you've put into Podio will uh, you know go straight into your phone. Uh, all the fields anyway that that are applicable to your phone. Very very a very powerful tool here. This this Podio thing is. So back into uh, into adding this new lead. You notice that all the fields that I've required have a star next to them, and it won't let me save without without changing those fields. If you remember, Lead Industry was able to select multiple, whereas Compatibility, I was only able to select one. Um, remember I was saying before about the website? Kind of like Facebook, where you can see like uh, it shows a little mini picture, and you can change which picture you want to, to show up if there are multiple pictures. Um, and then, of course, the, the title of the website, the blurb about the website, the URL itself. Um, you got to make sure that uh, when you type it in, you have to attach it because uh, that's when it generates the rich preview. <clears throat> and all of these fields down here, I have uh, entered in separately just as, as, a, as their own individual fields. And then you'll notice down here, this is the beginnings of me creating the new app for uh, communications, which I'm working on now. 
but you can see I can select multiple portions of the status. So if this is a target that I haven't spoken with yet, or I've sent the, the letter to, uh, if I'm in the process of following up with, and then of course, whatever, this is the large text box that we were talking about before. And in the large text box, you can add quotes, you can add links. Um, if you want to add a link in there, you can do that. This is kind of like a, a HTML kind of thing. So pretty powerful stuff. And then uh, that's that's about it for that. In this next section, I'm going to show you how to turn uh, these apps that you make into web forums for your website. It's a lot of fun. Can't wait to see you. Check you out later. Peace.